This is the Great Salt Lake in Utah in 1985. And this is the lake in 2022, when it hit a record low estimated at 11 feet below its historic average. The cause of the loss in water? Growth. Salt Lake and its surrounding counties continue to be among the nation's most rapidly growing population centers, growing more than 1.6 times the national rate and adding more than half a million people since 2010. And freshwater rivers are being diverted to fuel that growth. Instead of filling the lake, these tributaries are being used to build new housing and grow agriculture. Historic drought and rising temperatures from climate change are also contributing to the lake's recession, which has left some 800 square miles of the lake bed exposed. And this is where my reporting took me, a 120 square mile section of the lake that used to be under 16 feet of water. It's here that researchers are investigating a newer concern, hazardous dust clouds. As the lake dries, arsenic and other carcinogenic metals are left exposed on the lake floor. Winds coming through the valley whip up the dust, creating hazardous dust storms that sting your skin and make it difficult to breathe. These dust storms become particularly concerning when they roll into neighboring counties. Like this event on August 4th, winds blew lake dust into the streets of Utah County, more than 70 miles from the Great Salt Lake. It's not completely clear what the dust could mean for the long-term health of residents near the lake, but past examples give a negative prognosis. The Aral Sea, once the world's fourth largest lake, has lost around 90% of its volume since water began being diverted for crops in the 1960s. Studies have linked its dust emissions to reduced kidney function in children living nearby. As the Salt Lake population continues to expand, attracting a new hockey team and preparing to host the 2034 Winter Olympics, residents there fear conditions will further deteriorate as the lake continues to recede.